still got so we've got another image sent in and we've got one from michael here so straight over to his instagram i'll show you guys certain things he does to get his style so obviously a lot of use of greens a lot of shadow so we're gonna have to really use those vignettes and really shape the lighting and then there's an obvious fade to the dark areas so the blacks and stuff so we're gonna have to do a lift the blacks that's pretty common to do really smooth exposure like those whites aren't very harsh so we might have to dull them a little bit and if you guys want the settings for this tutorial keep an eye out for a passcode that will appear up the top right and don't skip the video just keep your eye out for that or pop up and then you'll use that code to get into the dropbox link to get the settings for this tutorial michael's going to put the link somewhere most likely where he sells his presets here so come over here check them out if you like and also guys if you want the raw image for this to follow along and a bunch of other tutorials join the course and i'm going to be putting my youtube tutorial raw images inside the course as well so yeah if you want to get the most out of these youtube tutorials you want the raw images i'm adding as many as i can so sign up to the course if you want the raw image for this tutorial to follow along right let's get into this edit so what we're gonna do is apply one of his presets so i'll show you guys the settings so don't worry so we'll just go with classic one and as you can see preset so it's going to give us a bit of a starting point i'll take you through all the settings and stuff so don't worry but this is a good starting point okay so let's just up the exposure just before we get into that let's talk about the settings so 161 millimeters so a real compressed look he's got some foreground there which is nice the shutter speed is rule of thumb you have a double your focal length so he's added a bit more on top of that f4 nice and sharp and then a low iso because we've got plenty of light right let's get into this we don't have to change too much down here i don't think i'll probably do some work in the curve so at the moment i think we're lacking contrast so let's just do this Bring down the contrast up here so i know i want to come in with some filters up the top here on the subject do some brushing so exposure wise not exactly sure what i want to do up here yet all right okay so we look all right for exposure now i might adjust some things once i do some filters and stuff like that so coming down let's just do some obvious things we want to the colors so we want way more red tones let's go with something like that we want more oranges to the yellows um right uh, and then the greens can be warmed up a bit and then as for saturation i'm gonna really take down some of these tones greens um reds there's not really reds in this image i thought there would be but there's not i think what we need to do is just work on our exposure and contrast our colors aren't too bad now quickly actually let's just really drop these oranges i might show you later on what they're doing as well this will get really rich tones to the subject and then let's really bring up the yellows and that's going to really bring up the subject too right and the greens let's bring up the greens a bit okay so we've got this big piece of light up the top left so i need to put that in so what i'll do i've already placed these for the tutorial so here we have it nice and big feather right up put in warmth so it's like a, a warm glow exposure and clarity for the softness and then dehaze for that glow and then i've got another one I just want to do similar things with this one let's drop the clarity a little bit of glow there saturation's already down about good maybe getting a bit too bright back there let's try that because then we still get all this nice brightness out here from the other one but we don't get too bright near the middle of the circles okay so we've got one right on top of the subject now i'll make this one kind of subtle a uh, decent amount let's go with 23 and then it's just bump up the sharpness the sharpness is already up but we're gonna bring it up 30 there so we're, we're looking kind of bright so what i'm going to do is come down and disable the profile corrections and it's going to really add in that vignette we want we'll just remove the vignette here i think we get plenty from profile corrections 
Okay, so I'll just do another filter out to the uh, left here because we've got so much rays coming in from the right. I'll just complement that with less light coming in from this direction or creating contrast. So let's just drop that that much. Okay, so time for brushes and filters or brushes. I've already done the filters. So this one, if I press O, it's showing you where it's affecting. So I just want to like dodge and burn and bring out the main areas. So pretty much selected all the bright areas and I'm just going to make them brighter. You can see all the areas I've selected. Like down here, it's so dark over an out image, he's definitely brushed it. So if I press option, reset, it's so dark there. The only way you can make that that bright is by brushing it. So I reckon that's what he's done. And then we'll just add in a bit of contrast as well. And then we'll just brighten up around the eyes. So this is O over top of the eyes so let's think about warmth and colors now i think we need way more warmth maybe we should have done this at the start before i did my hsl and stuff like that what i'll do is just really bang up the warmth bang up the warmth i think we get too many purples i think there's throughout the entire image there's a lot more greens so i'm going to shift the purple over to a green that looks way better what i'll do now is come down to split toning we brought up the warmth a lot but i reckon these like blues and these shadows and it's a real combination of really warm tones and blue tones the blue tones are in the shadows that's what we've got in the preset as well so we'll just increase that a bit and i still think there's a little too much purples so let's shift this towards a green away from the purple so that's how you get rid of purple and then about that is good. Okay, now let's fine tune our curve up here. So I'll just go through the curve and then explain to you why I did what I did. Okay, so that's the curves done and I was just trying to match up like the, the, the fade going on. So I need to also fix it up here. I need a bit more contrast go with that. So what I was doing, I didn't want to go too far away from his preset because it's probably how we got this edit is pretty close to how his preset was. I didn't want to change it too much, but this is just for that fade and the blacks. You can see no fade fade and then i didn't think there was too much those brights are pretty bright and he's got quite high whites and his preset sort of had a bump there so i just sort of wanted to keep that but like you can see that fade there and then i brought all this area over to the right because i just wanted a longer smoother roll off to that um fade okay so let's just drop the blacks a bit more i want a bit darker blacks whites can pop a bit more uh, shadows and highlights so for texture and stuff, he had a little bit of clarity for his preset. I'll go for about 10. Things a little bit extra. And I'm not sure about this, but maybe drop the texture as well. So you get like a nice crispiness with the clarity. But there's a contrast that comes with clarity. But in texture, there is no change in contrast at all. But just sort of gives a nice blur and sort of takes out that harshness of the clarity. But you still get that fine contrast clarity it gives you. So I kind of like that. And then if we head back down to HSL, we could fine tune some things. Maybe in the saturation. Just trying to match it up really. Greens come down those blues like there's a tiny bit of blue in the thing's nose i just take that out by dropping it and yeah it doesn't do much might drop these uh, it doesn't really matter they're not really in the image lumens the greens they can probably stay where they are maybe touch down so now that we've exposed that image properly watch what luminance of the orange and yellows do so it's kind of bland at the moment increase luminance of the yellows and then deepen the oranges and that creates lots of contrast between the oranges and yellows and that's what that's the colors our subjects made of so it looks really good 
And then as for sharpening, what we'll do is do quite a bit of sharpening, but we will bring up the masking quite a bit. Hold option, you can see where it's sharpening. Keep those really fine bits nice and soft, but then a lot of the image is still getting sharpened. And go with there right back to filters and stuff let's do the eyes of our subject what i've done just done radial filters here and what i want to do is just really bring up exposure and then it can look quite washed out if you can see it just looks kind of um white so we'll add that contrast back in because that will drop those blacks then we can help out dropping the blacks here too he's got a little twinkly bit in his eye that we don't want too bright so it might drop the whites there too cool and then we've got another one over here we'll do pretty much the same probably should have just duplicated it and dragged it across whites down blacks so now his eyes are just a bit brighter and it doesn't look like his like he's taken the glare out of the image i think he's like tried to purposely take that out and then just brought in more of the pupil and like you can see a bit more of the eye in that one our one's a bit different i like how it looks maybe even more than this one maybe but he's obviously done it differently but uh we'll just roll with this i like the way it looks it's been a long time trying to do its eyes so if you guys have the raw image to this if you're part of the course then yeah you can have a go at those eyes a lot and yeah one other thing you might not have seen is noise reduction is up at eight he has a very very silky smooth image can't notice much going on there but i think it looks good I think there's a bit of Photoshop going on up here. That's why it looks a little strange up here. I've actually taken away some blemishes just by doing spot removal tool. So that's why it looks a little bit different. I think he's actually like all this. I think he got rid of that. We could quickly try to get rid of that. We just bracket, drag it across. Let's get this area, it's black. Let's just replace it with black or green. Turn up the opacity. and that mostly disappears yeah there's a bit of differences i think i don't know i think he's got a smoother contrast to his maybe some differences in the curves here ours looks a little more splotchy he's got dark blacks i, I really struggled to get those dark blacks so that makes me think he's done an s curve a small drop in the color channels okay so that wraps up this tutorial guys if you want the raw image for this join the course and you'll have access to the raw image for this tutorial along with lots of other youtube tutorials i'll be adding as many as i can go check out his presets guys link down in the description follow the dng link and that should take you over to his filters as well but yeah we're getting a ton of signups to the course and there's just been really awesome feedback so if you're interested in the course just head over to martintrader.com and you can learn everything about it there my goal is to get a hundred guest editors in there teaching their own style providing the raw image so it's just going to be the ultimate resource to learn photo editing and we've got something like 15 guest editors so far ton of value i'm including my presets for free for those that join the course and also guys do me a favor and comment awesome photographers down in the comments and i'll reach out to them to do tutorials on youtube and try to comment people with not too many followers that way they'll be extra willing to send in images for tutorials like this so that's it guys comment down below catch you in the next one